Hello everyone, this is Cody Wilcoxon here with another video on the auto-rigging tool that I have been developing in Maya's Python. Uh, so, without further ado, I'd like to show you all that it's capable of. So, I'm going to generate a pre-rig here with all of our settings, and I can change any of these settings at any given time. So, if I wanted to, say, remove all the limbs, I could just do that. And, you know, I'm not too cruel, so I'll leave one there so let me just do that so I can change that it automatically adjusts so that uh, it's always a part of it's always touching uh, the grid let's bring those back oops and uh, I'm also going to change the amount of vertebrae which you can change anywhere from one to all the way to eight so let's do that so that's one looks kind of silly but Hey, it's there if you got some kind of like, you know, little Kirby-esque character or something like that. Boop. And there's eight. So I'm going to set that back to four. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show uh, the hands. Now I can turn off the hand if I wanted to, so let's do that. So that's the hand turned off. I can uh, turn it back on, give it a double wrist setup. There you go. And I can also give it anywhere from one to five segments. So if I, I can go from one to five, which if you have five finger segments, you should probably get checked out because you're not human. But, you know, it's there in, just in case. Also, you can change the number of fingers. You can change it all the way to one, or you can change it all the way to five. So we're going to keep it at 5, and I'm also going to eliminate the double wrist a little later. Uh, we also have the options of changing clavicle, scapula, and double elbow, so I'll just swap that out. And in addition, uh, I've also added some upper arm roll bones and forearm roll bones as well, so I can go anywhere from 0 to 3 for all of those. And there we go. And the thing about this uh, setup is I wanted it to be completely customizable because that's something I saw that was kind of lacking in a lot of the auto rigging scripts out there. So, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of incorporate that. Uh, and maybe it cost me a few lines of code. I mean, this code is currently at about 1916 lines, I think. I believe that's correct. Uh, which, I mean, that's not so bad. So I'm going to bring that back to the way it was. Uh, I'm going to bring back all those controls there. There we go. And I'm going to take the upper arm roll bone to one, and I'm going to take this down to two, just for the time being. We're going to change it a little later. Uh, let's also give it its double wrist. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posing this. And as you can see, the controls are completely mirrorable. But uh, the other thing about these controls is uh, I have another function of this uh, this auto rigging setup, which uh, I can use if, uh, for example, let me just get back to my perspective view. There we go. So if I were to say start posing one side and the character is completely symmetrical, you know, best case scenario, it's completely symmetrical and, you know, it should be very simple to, you know, just mirror these bones across once it makes the bones. Uh, but, you know, while I'm rigging, I all of a sudden realize, oh no, I haven't mirrored the other side. You know, what am I going to do? Well, I've actually added a little section in here where you can... Uh, essentially press this button, mirror window, and it gives you this little traffic light here with a couple options, translation, rotation, and both, uh, which they do exactly what you think they might do. They mirror based on the button you press. So I'm going to click all the buttons that I've currently, you know, used, and I'm just going to click both, and it's going to mirror the translation and rotation attributes from these controls across to the other controls. And consequently, if I were to select this control here, it would do the same thing as well. You know, it would change the translation, rotation, or both, which is pretty cool. 
So I'm going to bring that back the way it was. And I'm going to also pose this. So I'm going to be pretty quick about it, or I'm going to try to at least. And I apologize if my mouse clicks are a little too loud, but uh, my microphone does uh, a really good job of picking up you know, small little sounds like that. So I do apologize if it's getting a little loud, but uh, <laughs> well, what, do you, what can you do? <laughs> other than get a better microphone. <laughs> so I'm going to just set this up uh, the way I want it to. Okay. And uh, let's rotate this. So I'll click rotation. I'm going to grab these controls here. And uh, I'll click both. So that's all aligned up. move down my neck here and rotate this around this is our jaw and done alright so that's how I want it so uh, you know on top of being able to completely stretch each and every one of these controls and scale them up and down which is really nice uh, I've also included the option of uh, being able to save the pose. Now that's important because, you know, what if I'm uh, setting up a pose here for these bones and uh, all of a sudden I'm like, oh wait, I don't want a double wrist. That's that's a terrible idea. I, I don't want that. Or, oh no, I don't want, you know, upper arm bones. Well, it's actually really simple now. All you can do is I can change these. So I'll bring that down. I'll give it one forearm bone. Uh, I'll take out double wrist and uh, let's take out the double elbow as well. Why not? So what it can do is if I click generate pre-rig pose, I'm going to let this sit on uh, sit in view for a second. Uh, it asks, do you want to save the current pose? Now if I click no, it's going to go back to the T pose and it's going to be like I didn't you know, do anything to this. It's going to be like nothing happened. Or I can press yes, and if I press yes, what it's going to do is recreate that rig and save all the control attributes and take out the things that I took out or replace it, which is totally cool. I love that. And of course, I can always bring it back, so if I wanted to add like an upper arm bone and maybe take out the knee or something, and it works in any pose too, which is also a great uh, part of this whole thing. So I could set it up in a pose that's totally crazy like this, and say yes, and it's still going to give me that correct pose with the new attributes and the new, you know, controls, which is really nice. Now, obviously, I don't want to have a pose that crazy, so I'm just going to bring it back to the way it was, Boop. just like that. I'm going to take out that double elbow again and the upper arm roll bone. Save that. Yep. And there we go. And now, without further ado, I will show you the purpose of uh, this whole setup, which is to create the bones. So let's generate that one last time so I have a double knee setup and a double elbow setup, why not? <laughs> there we go. So now, without further ado, let's press bone swap, and there we go. And what this has done is it has parented the bones correctly, so they're in a proper hierarchy starting from the root, and in addition to that, it is not only named all the bones correctly, but it is also oriented them correctly. So if I were to come in and start selecting these bones, like so, they are going to move 100% the way they should, which is awesome. Okay, so that about does it for the auto-rigging tool. Uh, I am Cody Wilcoxon, signing off.